Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reef. In today's episode, I'm allowed out of the house and I'm allowed to get around to some fish shops. So I'm here at Uni Hill Aquarium to check out some of the latest equipment they've got in and also their in huge range of marine livestock. Here we are, don't let the sign fool you. It's not New Life Aquarium and Pets, it is Uni Hill Aquarium, which you can see. You can check them out on their uh, Facebook page, but uh, you can also check them out on this local fish shop tour right now. So I'm gonna head in. We've got a, a good range of uh, dry tanks here from uh, the Aqua One range, Pet Works range. See the uh, 255 reef cysts there. There's one set up down here. Also got the Mini Reef 120, a super popular tank, and the Mini Reef 90 next to it. Got these huge freshwater guys here, and um, for regular viewers of my channel, you'll know that I uh, aren't uh, the best at uh, identifying freshwater fish, so I won't uh, try and embarrass myself too much. But um, got some, I believe these are cichlids over here. A clown loach in there as well. A pretty cool. Uh, lighting fixture here where we've got this uh, gas strut there which looks like it would assist in lifting it up something a bit different and of course we've got uh, the sea torch aquarium here which i'm going to do a full video on the range of these while i'm here i'll release that in the next few days but um give you a quick look at the tank now full sinking flow color pipe work full sea torch pvc sump and of course, an electrical cabinet. Got some freshwater displays here. Looks like we've got some little shrimp in there. Pocpo Genesis range. All right, now over here, we can see we've got some other uh, pre-set up or all-in-one tanks, including some freshwater ranges there from uh, Aqua One, uh, some nice uh, little aquascaping trees in there as well. Then we come across into some uh, marine salts from both uh, Reef Revolution and also the Aqua Forest range. Good competitive pricing on the uh, Aqua Forest salts there. See 22 kilo tubs under $100. And then we've got a good range of GAE Media now. If you're a, a follower of my channel, you know that I'm running about 15 kilos of the GAE balls in, uh, in my reef tank to get it happening. And um, uh, Joey here at uh, Unihill Aquarium sells them by the bags, um, by the boxes, or of course by the, uh, the boxes of boxes, <laughs> the um, bulk settings there. And they've also got some other uh, medias as well. So you can see here we've got uh, the Marine Pure Spheres. Sorry, they're not spheres, they're cubes. Come around so we can see the pricing on those. So you can buy uh, Marine Pure cubes by the uh, piece or by uh, six packet pieces. You can pick your own ones there as well. And of course, the uh, ever popular Seachem Matrix is uh, $18.95 a litre. I'm sure you can buy bulk of that. And also K1 Media you can buy in uh, bulk, which is not something you see all that often, but um, very popular in, um, in commercial setups. Now, I've got a good assortment of uh, test kits up here, both from uh, Red Sea there, um, there are kits there of testing as well as Salafit and of course the uh, Red Sea uh, Reef programs there. From their um, coral nutritions to their uh, calciums to um, you name it, they've got their trace elements. They've also got their cups there, filter cups. Um, we've got salts and uh, some carob sea sands as well, which is, they've got the Arega Live ones there, which is pretty cool. You don't see those in Australia all that often. And just as we go past some of the freshwater fish, I will point out that um, GAE do have some new medias and uh, Uni Hill Aquarium did actually give me a couple of those new medias to showcase in the video. So I will do that video shortly um, just to showcase some of their new uh, some of their new filtrations. There's the sea torch tanks that I'll also do a separate video on. And so I've got some quick uh, content coming up for you guys this week. See this gigantic pond here. Um, at first I thought it was a spa, but no, no, it is a pond. That'll make an absolute ripper of a setup. And then over here we've got um, a huge assortment of uh, dry scaping rocks for both uh, marine and fresh water. So I think we've got Dragonstone here, yeah, at, uh, what's that, $8 a kilo. Come across to the uh, Texas Holy Rock at $6 a kilo. And then we move on to the Crab Sea, um, 
Karibsi, Karabsi. <laughs> I'm not sure how we say that. Uh, we've got some Marco Rock over here. Um, huge, huge assortment of these. So you can uh, definitely plan away um, at your uh, next aquascape there, as well as uh, for the freshwater guys there, we've got some good uh, driftwood and some other stones there. Huge assortment there of gravels. And uh, my uh, probably my least favorite thing, the um, aquatic ornaments. We'll skip past those. We'll head over here to check out the Oasis and the Laguna pumps. Now, I know they're often used for uh, uh, pond setups, but uh, Laguna pumps are also very popular in uh, in some skimmers. Now, these things do interest me a lot. We've got uh, the Seachem uh, Tidal range of power filters. Awesome little setups, particularly for, uh, I'm thinking of them for like frag shows, um, uh, frag stock, things like that, where uh, you've got a basic glass box, you want to put a power filter on it to keep uh, the water moving and get a bit of filtration through some uh, temporary media there. Those Silk Seachem tidal range looks awesome. Now, I am skipping ahead a little bit here. We've got a, a good assortment of uh, Eheim pumps, um, CJ pumps, some more ornaments that we'll skip past. Nice little range of uh, nano tanks there. You can probably just see the uh, boom of the um, camera stabilizer here because I have zoomed out a little bit because uh, we are navigating our way through the uh, through the aisles here. You can see a good assortment of uh, scrapers, both uh, magnetic and also on arms from uh, Flipper. From um, I think we've got some yeah some Seachem ones here, Seachem algae scrapers, which uh, I haven't seen before. They come in a, uh, a short, a medium, and a long. We've got some. Uh, some of the LCA range of uh, fertilizers and supplements for freshwaters. We've got uh, some test kits from API, uh, Aquaforest. We've got um, some supplements there. We've got some uh, Carib Sea uh, um, Arm, sorry, is the uh, word I'm looking for. Um, good to see the calcium reactors and good assortment of the large Aquaforest uh, medias. Over on this side, we've got a full continuum range of both uh, freshwater and marine. You see the um, uh, the resins there, both the uh, well, the full range, including the clear FX. We've got the continuum coral snow there and phytoblast, as well as all of their other little trace elements. Huge, huge assortment here. There is so much stock in this shop that um, you could spend hours walking through and still find new things. We've got uh, the Chemi Pure Blue Nano. We've got uh, some of the Fauna Marine Dino X, very uh, popular in removing dinos from tank tanks. We've got the Rift Revolution Aminos there. We've got the Coral Essentials range. So, so much stock, it's, um, it's overwhelming. There's lots to take in. You've got uh, some of the Aquaforest uh, medications and supplements there. You've got the Delua range from Coral Essentials as well as the Coral Essentials. Uh, some more Aquaforest. And then down the bottom, we've got the uh, bulk commercial size um, Coral Essentials plus Trace. Come across here, we've got uh, some of the medications the team carry here. And uh, then when we come down, we get into some uh, foods and coral foods. So we've got uh, some uh, reef revel, uh, some polyp feast, um, reefroids, the talus coral foods. We've got some uh, aqu aquaforest foods here, which include a protein powder. I haven't actually seen that in person before, so that's cool to see. Uh, ocean nutrition range of fish foods and all of their pellets. You got, there's the reef revolution uh, polyp feast. Come down into some of the uh, new life spectrum and some of the larger packages. And then uh, we come down to Ocean Free down the bottom, mainly for uh, your freshwater fish. Now, if that wasn't enough of a uh, fish food supply for you, come around the corner to the huge wall of uh, Hikari dry foods. And of course, uh, some tropical foods as well. Um, so, so many here to look at. Now, I know um, a lot of these are aimed at freshwater fish. You can see some bulk packs there for those who run uh, large ponds with them. Um, well, down here they won't be koi, but uh, there could be some sort of goldfish uh, or some large ponds that need um, need some bulk uh, fish food there. Around the corner here, we've got uh, some interesting tweezers, including the uh, new Maxspect uh, carbon fiber tweezers. I suppose they give a good grip. Um, if you know me, I love carbon fiber. I'm not exactly sure why you need them on some uh, coral tweezers, but hey, I'm all for it. I guess they're not going to rust at all. We come across to this section here, which has got some wicked uh, plumbing sections here. As you can see, a nice uh, flow color uh, check valve there. We've got uh, unions in different colors and different sizes. Uh, we've got some T pieces, we've got some elbows, we've got some 45s, some different size T's, some more 45s, some joiners, some uh, cable clips. Uh, we've got some uh, VCAs, we've got uh, some uh, different size lock line available. I had someone ask me where they can buy a lock line in Melbourne the other day. Uni Hill carry it in a few different sizes, including the full kits to uh, convert uh, your single outlet into a dual outlet. 
These pieces here are interesting. They look like they're uh, to go on top of chillers. Got some flow color um, bulkheads here. We've got some taps, some gate valves, true union uh, taps, or double union taps, I should say. Down the bottom here, we've got uh, some filter socks. And you can see both the four inch and seven inch there in the, in the fine uh, felt and then in the mesh. Then we've got uh, one of the Sea Torch um, filter sock adapters. So this can mount onto your existing sump and uh, convert it into a uh, filter sock holder, which is uh, pretty cool. And I must admit, I do love those uh, Sea Torch filter socks with like the honeycomb style, pretty cool to them. Uh, and then we've got uh, some frag rack essentials here. So uh, some egg crates, some stackable frag racks, all sorts of bits and pieces there. A real nice little uh, DIY corner. And continuing on with that fragging theme, you come around the corner here, we've got uh, some frag rocks from uh, Aquaforest, Ecotech coral glues. Uh, we've got uh, some Seachem coral glues there. This little cooling fan. Speaking of cooling, we come down to a Teco chiller. We've got uh, some reactors from uh, Nios, Aquaforest, Paxan algae reactor. We've got some Tunzi comb line skimmers and filters, both 9001 and 9004. Great white skimmers, quantum Nios skimmers, huge range of bits and pieces here. Um, and then we come up into the Sea Torch range. Now this calcium reactor is something that uh, absolutely caught my eye and I think might come home with me. Um, it's suitable for aquariums up to 2000 liters. Comes with a high quality aqua bee pump. It just looks to be the absolute duck's guts in build quality. You can also see some of the very highly rated uh, Sea Torch skimmers here. This is one of their smaller units and is just built <laughs> it's just built like a uh, brick outhouse because it's strong as anything. Nice little uh, K1 media reactor there. Got some of the Sea Torch fluidized media reactors here. You can see the pricing on the different sizes of those there. And then uh, some of the Sea Torch dosing containers. And these things are uh, super cool. This little one here is pretty cute. It's pretty small, but um, again, just carries that super high quality Sea Torch uh, build quality, which is always, always nice. And uh, continuing on with our dry goods before we head on into the uh, live room, you can see we've got an assortment of heaters, nets, um, we've got some Sea Torch uh, fish traps and acclimation boxes there, always handy to have. You see some more of those uh, fish traps and acclimation boxes there. We've got some more little nano tanks, and then on the wall behind us here, we have some RO units. We've got um, the AMS range of RO units. You've got some uh, Vectra return pumps, Siche return pumps, Reef LEDs, AI LEDs, some Tunzi pumps, um, some Siche wave pumps. We've got the AI Neros. We've got Ecotech MP10s. We've got Maxpec gyres. We've got a full range of CO2 gear there. We've got uh, some uh, Aquamedic dosing pumps, including um, a uh, Kamoa dosing pump there, continuous duty. See a good assortment of uh, hoses and some uh, media bags here. All very handy stuff to have. Uh, then we've got some plants, uh, some uh, freshwater plant lights as well as I guess you could convert those to marine. But uh, I guess everyone's here really to see the, uh, the live room and check out the uh, fish and corals. So I guess we should make our way on in there now. I can tell you now there is a crazy amount of stock, but just before we do, I just noticed this freezer here. Got a good assortment here of uh, frozen foods, of course, so when you're picking up your new fish or coral, you can make sure you get some, uh, some nutrition for it while you're there. But let's head on into the live room now. All right, here we are. If you've made it this far in, almost 40 minutes of the video, or if you've skipped ahead to get to the livestock, I can't blame you, and you're in for a treat because uh, Joey has an absolute amazing amount of livestock in and high quality at that. So the first tank we see is her uh, display tank here, which um, Joey didn't really want me to show you because she says it's going through a bit of trouble with some uh, Majanos in there, but uh, there's some cracking pieces in here, including that beautiful Gonopora garden. You can see some uh, excellent, um, that, that bird uh, nest in there is a piece that always gets my interest. It's just got some really unique coloration to it. And uh, that huge bubble coral over the back is just, uh, it's just beautiful. You see that lovely Cephastria there, but there's those Majanos that uh, have cost her a few beautiful pieces out of that tank, unfortunately. But uh, we're here to check out the corals that are for sale. And uh, you can see you get some uh, combo dealer discounts there. We've got some really nice pieces to start off with, including this uh, nice variation on the candy canes there. And uh, these two absolute showpiece uh, Wilsonis up there. 
you get a little uh, close up here from the DSLR to show a true version of the colors there. That one there is $500, but it's a good fist size, adult's fist size piece with uh, such a rainbow assortment of colors through it. Absolutely stunning. You see a, a good assortment of different gonies there, including a super bright red one down there at $95. It is just glowing compared to every other goni there. You see, uh, what else have we got here? We've got some uh, nice Acan, some Chalice, um, some beautiful little morphs in there. Um, we've got uh, across we come here to just absolutely scholarly uh, heaven. There are some absolute rippers in here, um, including this little one at the front here, which has got this bright rim, bright red rim around the underside, which is super uh, interesting to see. I actually really love this forest fire Rodactus up there. It is huge and um, it is so, so bright when you see the uh, macro shot there. Come across to some of the... Uh, Hammers and torches, you see this beautiful yellow tip uh, torch there. That's an um, absolute showpiece. Got some uh, nice bright green hammers. We've got some gold hammers. We've got, um, <laughs> you name it, we've got the hammers here and uh, all very well priced. You see some nice gold stem torch there running at about $145 um, a head. Got a big ultra frog spawn there. Come across to some more hammers. Check out this little stunner at 100 bucks. That is as nice a gold hammer as you're gonna find for $100. Um, I reckon I've seen that almost double or triple that price elsewhere. It's an absolute ripper. Um, what else have we got here? This uh, beautiful torch here with an ultra toxic mouth and at only $70 Australian. So for our American friends, we're talking about $50 US for that stunning torch. And check out this hammer here. I um, couldn't believe it when I saw it. I know it's $400, but look at that. The stem is ultra, ultra green, like very rich green with a gold hammer on it. Um, just such a contrasting color option. And then we come across into uh, Lobophilia Central. We've got so many Lobos here. You can see, I must admit, I'm not a huge Lobophilia fan, but when you have a few varieties like that, wow, they look nice. Come across here, you've got a beautiful little Pectinia. We've got uh, some Chalice. Um, we've got some maize corals, we've got uh, some cinarias, we've got uh, sinularias, we've got um, all sorts in here. That little, uh, that little pectina in there is uh, just uh, with very bright little tips on it. It's absolutely sparked my interest, but uh, my tank's not ready for coral yet, so I will have to come and visit uh, Joey and the team once it is. We'll pop over this side to check out yet more coral tanks, that's right. In here, we've got uh, a good assortment here. We've got, uh, looks like we've got uh, a good assortment of different uh, Montipora. Uh, we've got uh, some Aussie war coral there, I believe. Some big pieces, some smaller pieces, uh, some beautiful clownfish and an angel in there. We've got some Acropora frags in here. They look like they are $20 each or two for 35. Very cheap on the frags. Uh, we've got uh, some green digi. We've got some blue digi. Uh, nice little frags there, as well as some uh, wild caught SBS pieces. Don't mind my camera while it uh, just struggles with a variety of uh, lights in here with filters on. Got some nice uh, nano sized trachophilias, we've got some acans, we've got some fungias, we've got some nice uh, zoas there uh, in both frags and also zoa rocks. Um, Sunny D's always come up a treat. You can see uh, we've got uh, some Blasto over there, some Duncans. Uh, we'll come over this side. This is where we've got uh, some uh, sand sifting stars. We've got some bubble tips here, uh, some basic bubble tips, some candy apples. This beautiful one here, I'm told, is a bubble tip, but it looks a little bit different from a bubble tip to me, but could be just settling in. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, we've got some beautiful morphs here, including these uh, lovely red morphs at only $15 a head. Uh, we've got some fluffies, we've got some greens, we've got this lovely uh, Acan piece here, although I'm not sure if that is an Acan, it might be a variety of an Acan. We've got some Recordias, got some red chalice frags and some larger pieces. <laughs> and yeah, we keep going, there's even more. Uh, we've got some um, palm tree coral there. I know there's been uh, some firework palm tree corals around of late, which have uh, got people super excited about the coral again, which is cool, because in my opinion, it's been um, underrated for too long. Check out that uh, showpiece frog spawn just hiding out there in the corner. We've got uh, some torches. This little hammer here has got some crazy coloration to it. Nice bright leather in the background there. We've got uh, some, uh, some lace corals there, including a very beautiful purple lace coral. Then we get onto the Acropora uh, colonies, I guess we'd call them. Great assortment here. Um, the clownfish keeping guard of them there. Lots of different species, varieties, colors. Um, all very well priced. We're talking about $45 to $80 Australian for a uh, 
for a nice Aquapora colony. Got some nice uh, Monty frags there at uh, $40 each. Good variety of uh, different uh, assortments. And then we'll move on to the fish now. Joey from uh, Uni Hill Aquarium didn't want me to show you the fish because she said that she's, um, she's waiting on a bit more fish in the order at the moment. These ones here are under treatment at the moment, so we won't show too much of those, but um, I can't do a, a local fish shop crawl without showing you the fish. Check out this huge dog face puffer. He's a beast. Um, over here, we've got a yellow tang playing uh, hide and seek. Uh, we'll come over here. Now, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, poison fang blenny, so you, you want to be careful about that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he, he will hurt you. There's a uh, nice powder blue tang in there. Another yellow tang. Looks like a uh, dotty back, orchid dotty back. Uh, sorry, a um, yeah, you know what I mean. The one that's not a royal grammar. Beautiful little uh, purple tang there. Nice clown. Purple tang's just starting to come back in in Australia uh, this season, which is cool. We haven't seen them for a few months. There's a uh, big lawnmower blenny. What have we got over here? Let's have a look. Another yellow tang. He's a good sized unit. There's um, some more blennies hiding under the rocks under there. We'll pan up over here. Let's see, we've got uh, a nice little fox face. Looks like we've got uh, some uh, anthias, potentially lyre tails. Uh, let's see, oh, there's a little stronger snail in there. Looks like we've got some damsels. A beautiful uh, blonde lipstick there. Man, I love those fish. That looks like a male. He's got some nice streamers there. Bicolor angel. Uh, nice little uh, blenny there. I am trying to show you the fish, but uh, not spend too long on them because, like I said, Joey didn't really want me to show you the fish, but uh, there, there's some rippers in here that we can't um, can't ignore. You see, uh, there was a trigger in there and an angel. And uh, I just realized there is this little uh, Rhodactus tank here, which uh, has got some nice little, uh, not little, got some huge Rhodactus in there, powered by a Kessel A80. And uh, of course, there's a hole on the outside of all of this room is all the freshwater fish. So um, there's a huge assortment of other fish there. And um, it's not just the marine fish, but before I go, check out this uh, sea torch light fixture. I've not seen this anywhere else. It's a T5 and LED uh, hybrid. And you see, we've got a couple, maybe three T5s, three or four T5s on each end, and then a couple of clusters of LEDs in the middle. I haven't seen this before, so I'll have to ask Joey a little bit more about it. It looks super commercial grade quality. Anyway, guys, that's probably enough for the fish room, so um, I'll head on out and uh, wrap things up. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my tour of Uni Hill Aquarium. I couldn't help but bring the camera out. I had to go out there to pick up my calcium reactor for the new Dream Reef Tank build, which you'll see in an upcoming video because... Um, as soon as I saw the Sea Torch Calcium Reactor, I was super keen to get my hands on one and uh, put it through its paces. So I've picked that up. I've also very generously been given a couple of the new GAE Medias from the team at Uni Hill Aquarium. So I will do a review on those coming up very soon. So if uh, you're not yet, please consider subscribing. Button down in the corner there. We'll make sure that you don't miss any of those future videos. Now, I'm gonna wrap things up there, but as always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, pop it in the section down below. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner. And as always, guys, till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Bye.